my channel it's Katerina and I just wanted to say really quick if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel that would make me and baby barbers very happy for today's vlog you guys are gonna be getting an inside look into my push party which is pretty much like a baby shower but for the mom and this is sponsored by new lounge so new lounge lashes thank you so much for flying all the way from Manila to Shargao to accommodate myself and my guests my friends so let's come on in and take a look. We have all the girls here. We just have the lashes on. I'll show you the lash room. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't look like this is our lash room that we set up. Two girls could go at a time. We have our technicians here. Please introduce yourself. Yeah, my name is Janelle. I'm Jem. And so they flew in from Manila just to do our lashes for my push party. And yeah, so we have these two beds set up. And then if we go into here, we have the backdrop with baby barbers and we have some really Carbo loading <laughs> So there's our cake. Actually, it's from here. Her name is Dom, who makes it. But what's her? Chick Chickpeas underscore, underscore peace. And then everything else, I bought a bunch of stuff from Cafe Lunares. We have fruit. And yeah, so we're going to start playing our game. All of the girls have some words of wisdom for me for my due date. Yeah, let's get to it. Yay! Oh, okay. Hmm. I'll go for Okay, if you think the baby <laughs> looks like it's gonna look like me, you sit here. If you think me and you are there, if you think both stand in the middle. Hopping there. 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 Hopping Barbers, look at the cut for Essie. Barbers! Vegan. Is that the heart? Korean heart. Big hat. Big hat. Koa and Makalo. Koalo. 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 I'm like, Koalo. And he's like, I'm getting confused with their baby saves. And they're, they're so far. One is Makalo, one is Koa. Koalo. He was like, Whose baby was that? Was that Koalo? I'm like, that was Makalo. <laughs> Marla's baby is Makalo. And then Andy's baby is Koa. They don't even look alike. Because they make sense for Makoa. I think you should name your, your son Koalo. It's either that or Jobbert. No, not Jobbert. Or okay, goodness, I'm gonna lie to the camera. You guys can say your guesses. So at least it's the camera. Robert Joaquin. Because I don't know. She likes Robert O'Queen. I like Robert Shelby. Robert Sebastian. Robert Sebastian. <laughs> Robert Sebastian. Robert O'Queen. <laughs> Robert Koalo. <laughs> <laughs> I think I wanted this one, guys. I wanted this one. Robert Koalo. Sebastian. 
sana she will stay mabait and hope we can still play Monopoly and surf together. <laughs> I think two things. The first one is her personal well. So she makes it a point to exercise every day, just move her body, uh, be conscious of what she eats. So I hope that she carries that over. The second thing is not just her personal wellness, but also the wellness of the people around her. So I remember um, during our shoots, whenever she would see me, just walk in by you and she'd be like, Dish, have you eaten? Or are you okay? Do you want some water? Or something like that. And also with her dog, she's very maalagas. I know she's gonna be an amazing mom. And I, I just hope that she carries that over when she a, she's a parent. Hey Katya, so I was thinking of a funny answer to your question, but I just decided to give something, you know, that you could actually keep in mind for when you're in labor. And I guess that's to remember how strong you are, but also that you are actually much stronger than you believe yourself to be. And so whatever this is, whatever pain you may be going through while you're there in the moment, know that you can get through this and why why you're doing this it's for your little bundle of joy whom I cannot wait to meet I met Katya she was already pregnant I also met Jazz which is how I met Katya also when she was pregnant and I noticed from any friend of mine that's been pregnant recently and has been a new mom I think when you're doubtful like as a mom, just remember that every mom has been where you are and every mom is doing exactly as good as, you know, every other mom. It's it's a step. Everybody gets there and don't overthink it. I think you're doing just as fine whenever you're doubting yourself. And I know that you're going to be a wonderful mom. And I'm so excited for baby barbers and I can't wait to meet him soon. And I'm so happy and excited for you and Nino also. I think what I would tell Kat, I want her to remember the first time she went out to surf. Because I'm pretty sure for everyone it's a similar feeling of excitement, yet at the same time you're scared. So I'd like her to remember that day because it's kind of similar to giving birth. It's a scary thing to do, but at the same time, it's an exciting feeling to give birth to a child. And it's going to be a lifetime commitment, but it's going to be wonderful and it's going to be beautiful. And I know she was made to be a mother. Everything came at the right time. And I know you can do it. Hi, Kat. Uh, finally, this is it. I know you can do this. I know you're a strong, empowered woman. We're built to do this, to give birth. And I know you're gonna be such an amazing mom. I've seen you with Luna, so I know how amazing you're gonna be as a mother. And I'm excited for you. Anytime you need my help, just let me know. And we're here for you. Love you. Hi, Kat. First, um, congratulations again for your baby. My wish for your labor day is uh, for you to be, feel super relaxed. What I could advise, me as a first-time mom, is that you should believe in your body's power and capability to give birth to a baby. Either naturally or CS, it doesn't matter as long as you and your baby are healthy. So during labor, yes, just expect that it's going to be really, really, really painful. And especially if it's going to be induced, like what's happened happened to me, I uh, my labor was induced because um, I wasn't or the baby wasn't descending, even though I was already due and my water bag uh, broke already. The doctor induced my labor and the pain is like three times more painful than a normal labor. But what helped me get through the pain is listening to relaxing music and having my husband James and a midwife massage my lower back, move around my room, and prayers, of course, will help you get go through the painful labor. Just enjoy the ride. Remember that we are here, your mama squad, to support you even after your delivery. Love you! This is from Marsha. I said not to bring gifts, but gifts are always appreciated, so thank you. Um, okay, let's see how to open this. I like how it's wrapped, but because it's not, <laughs> we can't tear it apart because it's claw. <laughs> Oh 
<laughs> no, but you know what? I feel like here in Shargao, it's so rare for people to wrap gifts. Like, the lahat ng mga parties attend ko, it's just like, and an apple bag. <laughs> this is gonna be a <laughs> thing. That's the old one. Oh. Oh, each wave brings me closer to my baby. Oh, I love that. I will birth fearlessly. I can I can ride this wave. I believe my own. I believe my own power. Oh, so these are the cards, Marja, and then That's this um, is frankincense oil. It will help your uh, if it, it will help you progress in labor. Oh, so I need this for my due date. Yeah. Okay. Those are all for you. <gasps> oh my gosh, crystal! And then this is a stone, the stone for the essential oil. Oh, it's just a symbol. Oh. It's a symbol of what you're doing right now, which is really amazing. This one? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like you should be here to explain it also. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was Marja. Thank you. We will see this again when I'm going through labor. I'm gonna be like, my water broke! Where's my box from Marja? This gift is also from Marja. She gave me two books. So one is on becoming baby wise. How 100,000 new parents train their babies to sleep through the night the natural way. Marsha likes to lend me her books um, throughout my pregnancy. All the books I've been reading actually came from her. And the second one is your baby's first year. So thanks, Marsha. Then Andy naman gave me a I forgot what she called it. This is a birthing chest. You wear it in the hospital after you give birth. So there's buttons on the back to put on easily, and then there's buttons here in the front for breastfeeding. And the the material's really soft. I think it's like bamboo cotton. Thanks, Andy. All of the gifts usually for a push present or for the mom. And then I also opened earlier the gifts from the new lounge. One of them is this necklace that has the baby's initials, which is RB. So the baby will be definitely Robert something Barbers. And then on the back is my initials. This one that was from Manila Diamond Studio. And I love this gift so much. I feel like this is something that's going to be sentimental to me for the rest of my life. You know, it's pendant my baby's initials and then my initials. So means a lot and my other gift is from 50 cents candles and they gave me three scents so there's unwind focus and breathe and they all smell so good throughout my pregnancy i love candles i've been using candles every night before i sleep nino and i have it as like a ritual so i'm gonna bring these with me to Davao and probably light them during my labor then i have this beautiful dried flower arrangement from Rustique and it's so nice. We're gonna put this in a room. I bought a lot of new vases for our place. So Sakto, at least I'll have dried flowers to put in the vases. So thank you so much, Rustique. And lastly, my Lash Doll Robe from New Lounge. And these are all such special gifts. I love that everybody thought of me and I'm so excited to be a mom. And thank you to New Lounge. Thank you to all of my beautiful friends and guests who were able to attend today. And yeah, so thanks everyone!